Hey guys, Postman here, and welcome back to another uh, Jurassic World live video. And today we're gonna do, finally do our uh, team building video. I usually do a team building video every update since you know balances happen and stuff change. So here is the uh, 1.5 team building video. And for those of you who don't know, uh, my team building videos I split them to four parts. Each part goes over. Um, one local, just the local that, you know, a person plays a lot in or lives in. Those are usually the dinos that people are gonna, you know, get a lot more of uh, more easily. So that's how I do them. And also, uh, for those of you guys who don't know what a local is or a global is, uh, check out my spawn guide. I'll link that in the description below if you want to find all the uh, spawns and stuff and I'll also link all the other parts in the description below after I finish them <laughs> of course finish recording them so uh, team building team building is quite important I'd say uh, if you want to advance in the arena you know do better in battles I guess team building quite important so uh, looking at this team right now this isn't a team this is a mess <laughs> this makes no sense at all so let's let's try to make some sense out of this so let's start from the beginning, from when you just first downloaded the game and open it up and you have no dinos and let's just start from there. So after you pick your starter, whichever, it doesn't really matter, all, all three are okay. Uh, if you're playing during the day, you'll probably see a lot of this dinosaur, uh, a Patasaurus. These are global commons, they're everywhere and you know, global literally means they're gonna spawn anywhere, uh, everywhere, so it's a it's it's the highest HP dino in the game. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but uh, it does help against those speedy pesky raptors that you will uh, encounter a lot in lower arenas. And then moving on, uh, let's talk about some local two. This is your zones, uh, common dinos. And in the daytime, we have uh, two local two commons, which are both really, really good. Let's first the Orange Drake Rex Gen 2. This dino is one of the best dinos in the game. The Swap In Shattering Rampage. That's above priority. It's it's almost uncounterable. It's one turn bound. It could just swap out after you shatter uh, something. It's one of the best dinos in the game. I jokingly want it to, Well, not jokingly. I'm very serious, but people make it into a joke now. So that kind of... I, I, I want it in Tyrant tier, the top tier. And I have the math to prove it, but, you know... Uh, uh, apparently a lot of people who didn't do the map don't don't think so <laughs> but anyways uh, moving on aside from the mini rant another uh, daytime local two spawn is a uh, uh, common is euphocephalus which is a very 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 strong tank it's one of the better tanks in the game I'd I'd argue if I could find it that would be nice and why is my dino all messed up you know what I'm, I'm just gonna go to the map and then I'll refresh my dino sorting because I, I, I was prepping for this video so all right it should be sorted out now uh, Euphocephalus Euphocephalus 40% armor really good HP uh, really uh, I would say really good base damage base damage is not that great but vulnerability strike plus rampage rotating beto between those two that's a lot of damage output for how tanky this thing is it's a bit slow but you know <laughs> that's its uh, only drawback I guess moving on to uh, some a, 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 anytime uh, local two commons we have Aeneasaurus Aeneasaurus it's it could take a few hits it stuns your opponent that's free damage and free damage is always good so here's Aeneasaurus and going back to some global spawns uh, after the map turns colors, it turns, you know, into a yellowish color shade uh, on the top of the map or in the skies. That means you're in dawn or dusk, and dawn or dusk spawns this dino, Dimorphodon. If you see this thing flying around, start some of these. These are really good for PvE uh, strike towers, as well as a good bleeder and a fast... Uh, okay-ish hitting dino I guess it's 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 mainly for the bleed it plays the bleed game so moving on to some night spawns uh night spawns that has nothing to do with local but global spawns we have the velociraptor fastest dino in the game turn one pounds two times damage and damage reduction really strong dino and also uh tarbosaurus is a really good 
uh, Dino Third Throne here as well. It's your first Chomper, probably. Uh, does goes goes through da uh, armor shields. Does a lot of damage. Forty percent crit. You know, not a lot of dinos have that. So that's a really uh, good feature. And for also a uh, global anytime dino, we have a uh, Nindasuchus, which is this little croc over here. It's fast. Ferocious Strike does a lot of damage, and uh, it's 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 just, it's just a decent, uh, fast hitting dino. So moving on to some rares. As you play a bit more, you would see some rares. You probably see a few rares on your first day. Rare spawn rates aren't that bad. You should see them within an hour or two uh, around your place. And among these rares, you would probably, if you, if you're playing during the day, you probably see a Margasaur uh, or a Margasaurus, which is another sauropod. It's a tank again. Let's replace a Pado with a Margasaurus. Margasaurus just has better moves than a Pado. It has more damage as a decelerating rampage. It's a slowing move with two times damage, which is, which is really good. So let's put that in there. And then also Ornithomimus is also a daytime spawn, which is uh, quite strong. We could take out Dimorphodon for that. Uh, or uh, a Nindasuchus, it's you know up to you, although we have something else for Nindasuchus to swap into. Um, Ornithomimus, where's Ornithomimus? Ornithomimus, uh, really, really super fast, has immunity so it doesn't get debuffed. It's okay-ish, and it also has a swap and move impact and run, so that you can run into Draco Gen 2, and that deals a massive amounts of damage. And moving on, a Rex, T-Rex Gen 2, that's also a daytime spawn. Uh, we could take out Tarbosaurus for that. Rex Gen 2 just has more power and more... Um, it, it, it just has a second move, which <laughs> helps a lot. And uh, also in Local 2, you might see Gorgosaurus. Uh, Gorgosaurus, Rex Gen 2, both can be used. Um, I would, personally, I would favor Gorgosaurus over Rex Gen 2. Uh, just because, first of all, I can't find Rex Gen 2, so... Here's Gorgosaurus, but um, at lower tiers, not a lot of people will be running around, uh, running with tanks. So the Ferocious Strike, or uh, the Ferocious, I think it's Ferocious Strike. The ferocious Strike on turn 1 equals the impact on Rex Gen 2, but it just doesn't go for, through armor and shield. But because at lower tiers, people don't tend to ran, run really sophisticated teams with tanks and stuff. So you could get away with, um, in a lot of scenarios, with that and um a ferocious boost rampage does more damage than a normal uh or a ferocious boost the boosted impact does more damage than a rampage is 2.25 times while rampage is two times so it just does more damage than rection too so i take that trade off and uh moving on we could have uh caprasuchus caprasuchus is a nighttime only a, a global spawn and we could swap out Nindasuchus for that. Caprasuchus has a lot of turn 2 damage. Ferocious Impact does a lot of damage. It also has a swap in Shattering Strike, which can be helpful. Cleansing Impact with that boosted Ferocious Impact does a lot of damage. And uh, moving on, let's get to some uh, local 2 rares. So uh, if you're you know playing at nighttime, you could see the local 2 exclusive Raptor, which is Charlie. So Charlie is... Uh, a 129 speed a raptor it just does raptor stuff also has crit impact you could keep velociraptor or switch to charlie in this case i'll just switch to charlie velociraptor is still strong it really depends on your personal uh, taste which or which one's higher level you know it it could depend on a number of factors but just for this video sake i'm gonna swap it to charlie just to keep the flow going and then next uh Erlikosaurus gen 2 that's a daytime uh, local 2 rare spawn Erlikosaurus gen 2 very strong super fast dino let's take out uh Aeneasaurus for that because we really don't have too much use for Aeneasaurus at this state uh Erlikosaurus gen 2 and then uh moving on we can have Aeneasuchus so Aeneasuchus is a really hard hitting uh dino that also stuns so that's really good uh it has a lot of turn 2 damage and the stun is nice and it, 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 it can take a few hits, so you could either keep Cap, keep Caprasuchus or swap in Aeneasuchus. Um, either of those work. They're both really good turn 2 damage dealers. And uh, moving on, let's uh, get into... Uh, well, actually, before, before we move on, let's talk about one more dino, which is a Sucutator. Sucutator is a really, really good um, 
a bleeding dino, but you need Sukumimus in order to create it. But Sukumimus is a common, so it shouldn't be that hard, but it's just not in local 2, it's in local 4. And Irritator Gen 2, you have to get it from uh, the arena. So if you do have the resources to get Sukutator, uh, you could put it on for Ornithomimus. If you don't have the resources, then you could keep Ornithomimus. Ornitho is still really good. But uh, Sukutator just does a lot more stuff. It's tanky, it bleeds, you know, it's great. Moving on uh, to some epics. Let's start with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a daily uh, or daytime global epic. It does a lot of damage. It's a Rex. It just busts tanks. And um, speaking of tanks, let's upgrade our tank as well. Uh, let's take the global epic tank, which is Brachiosaurus, one of the best tanks in the game. It does a lot of stuff. And um, it's also a 30% crit, which is nice. Let's move on to some uh, local 2 epics. The local 2 anytime epic, Aranosaurus, really, really good. We could take out Euphocephalus for that. Euphocephalus kind of falls behind at this point. Or you could take out Aeneasuchus uh, Aeneas for this dino. We could throw in uh, the local 2 epic, or anytime epic, the Aranosaurus. Aranosaurus uh, can take a decent amount of hits, has Superiority Strike, has Greater Stunning Rampage, one of the best moves in the game, and can run into Draco Gen 2, which helps a lot as well. So, moving on, uh, we could take out Charlie for Pyro, which is a daytime a local 2 epic. Uh, Pyro is just, it's just, it's just, it's just better than Charlie, it has a bit more survivability, and also it's still 129 speed, so you're not missing too much on the, on the, in the speed department. And let's move on to some hybrids. Once you start getting some hybrids, it should be fun. So, Armagocephalus. So this dino, it's, it's a decent tank. Um... It just it lacks a bit in the damage department, but does have the counter to make up for a bit of that. Uh, you could keep Corano, or you could swap it out for a Margocephalus. I personally would swap it out for a Margocephalus. Uh, it's just a you know a decent tank to have, a secondary tank, since your team is kind of lacking on tanks. So, yeah, it works out. Uh, another dino you probably want to use uh, that hybrids from Tupendactylus and... Uh, what was that thing again? Dim Dimorphodon? Both the global uh, dinos. You get uh, Dimodactylus. Dim Dimodactylus is a fast bleeder, and you know, uh, it's just, uh, it's a really, really good dino with uh, a really good kit. The stats could be better, uh, especially the HP, but for what it does, it's a really decent dino. We could take out Ornithomimus for that, or Sucotator if you had, or, you know what, I'd probably keep Sucotator if you have Sucotator. I'd use Sucotator over uh, Dimodactylus. But uh, if you still have Ornitho, you could take that out for Dimodactylus. Or you could keep Ornitho as well. Ornitho still isn't bad. So moving on, we could have uh, one of the other uh, uh, epics that you, you could create from Local 2, which is the Gorgo hybrid, the Gorgosuchus hybrid with the Capricuchus. Uh, this one's optional. You could use it for Rex, or you could keep it, or you could put it in Orlico Gen 2. But uh, for the sake of showing what it is, let's put it in for Rex. It's a good revenge killer. It's not as reliable as Rex, but if it's it's really situational. But if you if you are in those situations where it works, it will destroy a lot of things. So that's nice. Uh, moving on. Uh, next we can have a dino that is limited to parks. Parks spawns are hard to get, but if you do manage to create this hybrid, please put it on your team. Do yourself a favor. Put it on your team. Uh, and for Aeneasuchus, Stegoceratops, really, really strong dino, amazing stats, super tanky, okay-ish speed, uh, decent damage, it's a stun locker, has two stuns in a row, also slows dino, it's a really, really strong dino, uh, if you don't have it, Aeneasuchus is okay, you could also take it out, uh, take Ehrlich Gen 2 out for that as well, uh, if you, if your Aeneasuchus is a higher level. And moving on, uh, let's talk about some legendaries. Legendaries, legendaries are exciting. Uh, these are a lot of legendaries are end game dinos, uh, and uh, the one that we're going to talk about first is one of those end, end game dinos, and that's the uh, Indominus Rex. So let's take out uh, Gorgosuchus for that, or you could take out Diamond Uh Indominus Rex, Cloak plus Rampage is a uh, Cloak plus Armor Piercing Rampage, one of the scariest combos in the game. Uh, you dodge for two turns, and next turn your your move uh, damage is is multiplied by two, and rampage already is multiplied by two. So that's four times damage with a twenty percent chance to crit. It can one shot a lot of dinos in the game, 
especially a lot of those end game uh, top tier dinos, it does really, really well against. It has some hard counters, but uh, just watch out for those, and you should be fine with Indominus Rex. Okay, uh, moving on, let's upgrade our tank again. Uh, Amargocephalus upgraded. It's a direct upgrade, uh, which is Triodistus. Uh, you'll need some Parasaur from Local 2, however, or Local 4, so uh, that should uh, take you a bit of time, but once you get those, uh, no problem. This is a really, really good endgame tank. So, uh, moving on, uh, Dilorano. Dilorannosaurus is a really good uh, dino. Ehrlich Gen 2 has been here for a while, so let's kick it off. Uh, it really doesn't deserve this spot in comparison to Dilorano, one of the best uh, dinos in the game. Uh, it has a really, really strong move set, uh, really tanky in comparison to its unique counterpart. And 126 speed is decent. It could have been better, but it's still it's it's still nice. Let's uh, talk about another uh, legendary epic, and this or not legendary epic, another epic that makes no sense. Legendary epic, another legendary dino or hybrid, uh, which is Megalosuchus. Well, let's take out Diamondacus for Megalosuchus. You have Gorgosuchus from local two. Mega uh, Megalosaurus you have to go to get in local one, but when you do get it, it's a really good counter dino. Uh, it tanks decently. Uh, speed isn't too bad. It's just a really overall high turn two output, non armor piercing, or well, counter does armor pierce, but non defense shattering, I guess, uh, dino. It does a lot of damage. Next is another um, local two dino. Uh, it's Piritator. 129 speed, it's just better than a, a Pyraptor that has two Rampages, so you could use them back to back, and you know, you could use them on turn one, or at least distract your Rampage on turn one. It's really, really strong. Um, if you you do need to get some Irritator, which is uh, Arena exclusive, which could be hard to obtain, but if you do have them, you should be good go. It's a really good cleanup dino. And uh, one more thing is you could keep Brachiosaurus or you could get Stegodius. Stegodius is a bit hard to get. The components are, uh, you know, include Stegosaurus, which is a park spawn. But if you do have it, um, it's a decent tank. Uh, it depends on which one you have at a higher level, Brachy or Stegodius. Honestly, um, they have really sim similar matchups. So if you do have a higher level Stegodius, throw it in. If you have a higher level Brachiosaurus, you could keep that. And let's start talking about some unique dinos. So these are the absolute end game dinos. Uh, and the first one you will probably get is Indoraptor since there's so many Indoraptor events and also the components aren't super hard to get. Uh, they're all global components. So you could take out Indominus Rex for Indoraptor. Uh, one of the best dinos in the game. It could win all, it has a chance to win every matchup in the game. That's just, that's how strong it is. So uh, next, let's upgrade Dilorano into Dilorakyrus, which you need uh, some uh, Dinokyrus from local uh, one and also the officer from local one. But once you get those, it's it's an absolute monster. It had two rampages, extracting strike and uh, superiority strike. Really, really high base damage, 129 speed. It's an absolute monster. Uh, it's a must have for, I think, almost every team. So <laughs> that's that. Next is some, you know, out of zone uniques, but these uniques are really, really strong. It's not in local two, but you have to do a lot of work to obtain them, but they are super, super worth it. First one we're going to talk about is Yoda Renex. Um, ooh, sorry. Did I just place, replace Dilorano with Dilorakyrus? Uh, Dilorakyrus was supposed to replace, uh, you know, let, let's just fix this real fast. It's supposed to uh, replace Puritator because they're a bit more similar. And then Dilorano we still have here, but let's replace Dilorano anyways with Eudorenex. Eudorenex is a better Dilorano, I'd say. It doesn't have Superiority Strike, but has a turn one Rampage. It has just more uh, options and the swap in or, or the, uh, the, the the swap out, which Dilorano also has, uh, also is really, really good. But it also has a uh, instant charge. That's a one free turn of damage, which Dilorano also has a stun. But it, it, Eudorenex... It's just, it has that turn one rampage, which makes all the difference. It just has more uh, versatility in comparison to Dilaran. It also has a higher base damage. Base damage is, I think it's it's slightly higher than Dil uh, Dilaran but, you know, it's one of the best dinos in the game. Uh, you can't go wrong with this dino. And then moving on, another uh, not local to, I, I would say not local to, well, it you know what? It is kind of local to, but, you know, the fir uh, the... One of its components isn't local to it. it's Tenontorex. Uh, you need to get 
Um, uh, Dialo Gen 2 from Parks, which is a bit hard to get. Uh, Dialo Gen 2 is hard to get in the Parks. Park spawns are kind of hard to get. But uh, when you do get it, take Megalosaurus out for Tenanto Rex. It is the king of 1v1s. It can beat a lot of dinos in this game uh, uh, head on. It's a really, really strong uh, dino. has so many options on turn one. It's it's quite crazy. It's it, it's it, you have so many prediction games with this dino, with your uh, against your opponent. It really screws your opponent up, uh, and it's 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 a really good dino. I can't say too much more about it. Uh, next, uh, let's talk about what uh, probably arguably the best dino in the game, Trichosaurus. So let's take Stegosaurus out for Trichosaurus. It's probably the best dino in the game. Uh, it's just extremely strong um the the rampage the instant cripple into rampage that's a devastating combo with 30 percent uh crit it also has the stats of a tank 128 speed that's really good uh for what it does it's 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 crazy <laughs> so you have to have track source it's out it's totally out of your local uh, Rex you could get globally, but uh, Kentro and Anki you'll need to get in a local one and local four, so it's it's gonna be hard to get, but it's it's totally worth it. So this is basically a local two end game team. Uh, it works really well. Uh, although one note of caution, if you're if you are leveling up Draco Rex Gen two, um, it, it there's a possibility that it could be nerfed in uh, the next patch. Um, so if you guys are afraid of that, I personally don't think it's going to get, get nerfed now. I used to be in the camp of it's probably going to get nerfed, but now I, I don't think it's, it's, they're, they're probably, they're going to nerf it. But if you are afraid that it's, it's going to get nerfed, I have, there's some more options, uh, that w uh, we can, uh, discuss here. So, uh, we can have, say, Spinotosuchus. Spinotosuchus, really, really strong dino. Um, it's not in local two and... The resources are kind of hard to get, but if you do get it, it's really, really strong. 129 speed. I run it personally. And Lethal Wound, it's a three-turn guarantee to kill your opponent. Uh, critical Impact does massive, massive amounts of damage. 129 speed. Again, it's just a really, really strong dino. A really good base damage as well. And you could also put in Indom as well. If you have Trico and uh, Indo maxed out... <laughs> Because I probably won't level up Indom unless my uh, other Rex hybrids are all maxed out. Um, but Indom is the counter meta dino. It absolutely destroys everything, almost everything in the meta. It has some trouble with Stegodius and Trigodistus and Megalosuchus. But other than that, I mean, Dioraja, Raja Kylo maybe. But other than those dinos, oh, also Trico. It destroys everything else in the meta. It, you know, Uterenex, Dilorakyrus, Tenantorax. It just destroys them. Has a 50% chance of beating uh, Indoraptor. It's a really, really strong dino. And uh, another dino you probably would want to con uh, consider is uh, Erlodom. I personally haven't unlocked it, but Erlodom is absolutely busted. Immunity, 129 speed, a 1.5k damage, turn 1 rampage. Uh, also has cloak as well. You could use a uh, minimal speed up strike to clean up a revenge set up for a Huge rampage with 20% crit. It's a very very, very strong dino. You could put it in for uh, Indoraptor or maybe Dilorakyrus or Yuthasino or DG2. This one's hard to to put in. I'd say probably uh, Indo or Renex, but uh or maybe even Tanato, but then you'll be sh too short on defense shattering dinos. But if you do have uh, come across a really high uh, Erlodom, you'd know you'd really want to use that. Uh, Erlico is local 3, so that's going to be quite difficult. And you're also splitting more Rex and Velociraptor DNA, so that's going to be also a really hard factor. But uh, if you do get it, uh, make sure it's on, that, uh, it's on your team. It's really, really good. But uh, anyways, that's basically what we have for an endgame team on uh local two by the way this is this is my <laughs> this is my team this is my team right now um uh tenanto rex or uh, st uh, i'm gonna go from top to down then uh stegodia spontosuchus triodistus uh yodorenex nanto rex dilorakyrus uh, indoraptor uh, trichosaurus see i have two two like tank busters uh tenanto rex and 
Trichosaurus, like the slow chompers, and then you also have a secondary tank buster, which is a uh, Indoraptor. You got my uh, the two tanks, Diodeus, Tragdistus. You have a Tech Dino, which is also a fast hard hitter. Uh, Spinotosuchus, another fast and uh, fast hard hitter, clean, great cleanup Dino, probably the strongest revenge killer in the game. Dollar Kyrus, also Uterenex, which is a really really good utility Dino that does massive amounts of turn one damage. So yeah, that's my team. Um, hopefully this does give you an idea of uh, how you want to structure your team. Obviously, you don't have to exactly follow every step uh, of the way of my team because, you know, there are so many factors in uh, creating a team. Like, uh, some factors I didn't factor in, for example, are the strike events that go on, the event dinos, because those are kind of random. Uh, I can't really uh, uh, tell you how to do those, but um, that that could help us uh, uh, accelerate a lot of your... Uh, certain dinos uh, growth in your team which are really strong which you could consider as well but uh yeah this is this is kind of um <laughs> an overview of uh, it, it's 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 kind of a structure for team building it's obviously not definitive but i find it's quite uh inclusive of a, a, a lot of different type of players but uh, hopefully you enjoyed that if you think it was helpful uh, please consider leaving leaving a like and also subscribe if you're new if you haven't already i'm closing in on 2.5k subscribers so that's really really cool um thank you guys